So let's just use some common sense here. Why would the, someone multiply the ad set and spend more money on 25 ad set with the same video and text and everything since 18 June for two months? That's a lot of money if you are not making some profit, right? Hello everyone and welcome to OnHow channel. I hope you guys doing well. My name is Anas and I'm working for you. So if you have any tutorial requests, let me know in the comments. If you have any questions, you can find my Instagram in the description box. So today we'll show you how you can use the Facebook ad library properly so you can figure out the winning ad set and winning products on Facebook ad library. And there is a lot of videos about this topic so you know that already. But in this video, I will show you some unique tricks that you can use to filter out or figure out the winning products on ad set on Facebook ad library because there is some cool tricks and cool metrics on Facebook ad library for the ad set and if you don't know what they means you will not be able to find some really cool products to promote and if you know what they mean you will be able to find some gold mine and the second trick that I will show you which is also a unique one I will show you how you can see all the ad set that are not based on a specific niche because there is a lot of Shopify stores or guys that are running Shopify stores that are not based on a specific niche they will promote anything that's trending whatever if it's clothing or home appliances or whatever it is and I think that's a good idea because they do make a Shopify store that's not themed on based on a niche or something which is a really simple design and they will do a heavy product research and when they do find a winning product they will promote it and make a multiple ad set to test it out and do another research for another product until they find a gold mine so in Facebook ad library you will not be able to see the ad set or products that are not based on a niche because because in order to see the ad set on Facebook ad library you are required to either search by a Facebook page or a keyword but what if you want to search on the whole ad sets on Facebook ad library well that's exactly what I'm about to show you in this video and without any more talking let's get to it so I will access right now Facebook ad library and just scroll down description and you will see the link there for it in the description box so after you did access the Facebook ad library, the first thing you will see here is your country, which is Morocco in my case. Click on it. I'm going to go for all. And if your niche is based on a specific country, make sure to pick that country. And for the ad category, I'm going to select all ads. So right now, as you can see, you see the search bar. You either have to type in a keyword or an advertiser, which is a Facebook page or something. So what if you want to search on the whole Facebook ad library for ad set that are not based on a specific niche or search on the whole niches at once? Well, if you hit space again, like this, multiple space for example, and hit enter, it will not search for anything, just like you see right now. So it does recognize the space just like a blank and it will not search for it. So we are required to type in something in here so we can search by the ad set. So in order to do that, the first thing you're going to do is scroll down the description and you will see a link for a website or open up Google search engine and type in zero with joiner. Just like you see on the screen right now. As I said, just scroll down the description and you will see the link for this website right here. And you will see a copy button right here. Simply click on this copy button and it will say it's copied and get back to Facebook ad library and paste it here. And hit enter and it will search by a blank word just like you see right now. So after that you will get a bunch of ad sets as you can see there is over 50,000 results here and they are all multiple niches and as you can see here this is a uh, something has to do with pets and so on this is something has to do with uh, uh, shopping sellers actually actually in uh, Mal Malaysia so let's just scroll down to see some ad set that would show you the metrics in it so you can know if the ad set is winning or not so let's just keep scrolling like this so we will check something out here so for example right here this one, I think it's running in uh, Vietnam. This is the Vietnamese uh, writing here. I think if you guys have an idea, make sure to let me know in the comments, but I think it's uh, Vietnam. As you can see, the product here says started running in 18 June, which is more than two months right now, right? This is the uh, 12 or 11 August. So I think it's almost two months the ad set is running. And as you can see here, it says active. So the ad set is active from 18 June 2021 almost two months as i said and if you scroll down at the bottom page of the ad set you will see it says here 20 
five ads use this creative text so basically this ad set has been multiplied by 25 ad set so let's just use some common sense here so if the product is not converting and it's not making money why would the advertiser make a 25 multiplied ad set of this exact video and text let's just play the video for a second as you can see this is some uh, vitamins or something i don't recommend uh, promoting this in uh, first world countries this is just uh, for demonstration so you guys uh, have an idea as i said why would uh, someone multiply the ad set and spend more money on 25 ad set with the same video and text and everything since 18 june for two months that's a lot of money if you are not making some profit right so let's just click on see ad details here and what I mean by that is basically this is the winning product. He will not promote this for over 2 months in 25 multiplied ad set if he's not making money. And if you see the ad set was currently running for the last week or 2 days, maybe he is testing out so that's why he's multiplying the ad set. But if he is running the ad set for 2 months or 3 months, that means that he did find a jackpot. As you can see all the ad set with the same text and video. And this is actually uh, uh, at the same company that owns the product and as i said this is just for demonstration so i can give you guys an example i don't mean this is actually a winning product for the team because this is a branded product and they can promote it spend a lot of money they do promote their own product as i said this is just for you guys have an idea so let's just get back to the search page and scroll down again to find another one and here is i just found another one again and as you can see here it says started running on 18 april 2021 and if you scroll down, as you can see, the ad set is 29 ad set that use the same picture and the same video and text and so on. So just like the first one, if the ad set was not was not a winning ad set, why he would be running since April, which is almost five months and multiplying the ad set for 29 ad set with the same video and so on and text and everything. That means that he did find a jackpot and he's making more money than he's spending on this 29 ad set. As I said, if he did start the, the ad set in a week or three days or more, that means he's maybe testing out the ad set. But if he is running it for over two months, that means that he is making money. So let's just check out the ad set here. Let's just click on shop now to check out his Shopify store. And as you can see, this is the, the store right here just check out the product yeah this is some fitness stuff this stuff converts well by the way people really like this product uh, i don't know if this uh, shop is uh, based on shopify or not let's just check that right now so to to find out if the shop is uh, based on shopify or not the first thing you're going to do is simply right click oops i can't find out the right click here Anyway, so if you don't, if you can't right click, just in my case, click on these three dots right here at the top right corner of the Google Chrome browser, and you will see this prompt. And click on More Tools option here, and click on Developer Tools, and you should see this prompt right here. Click on Elements, and just zoom in. And here it is. I think I already see something here. As you can see here, it says cdn.shopify.com. This is the uh, cdn stands for. Uh, content delivery network so this this shop is using shopify so we know that for for sure as i said this is not a branded uh, product the page is not it has only like uh, 111 likes so let's just get back again and as you can see they are multiplying this ad set with multiple videos and just like i said all this ad set on products are all in multiple niches just like you see right now we see something from uh, about the fitness and, and gym and so on and we have some mugs here you can find everything here because as i said there is some shopify stores that are not based on a specific niche they will promote everything that's winning and i think that's a good idea because when the user click on the ad set and go to the page for the product he does not access the website to check out other product he's only interested in that specific product so promoting multiple products in multiple niches is a good idea so that's how you use the facebook ad library to search on all ad sets for multiple niches at once 
and also the second trick that i did show you is to how to know if the ad set is winning or not i hope this video helped you out if it does help me out please hit that like button and as i said if you guys have any questions or want to ask me something let me know in the comments or you can find my instagram in the description box otherwise i think my job is done and thanks for watching and catch you on next one